going to show you a free trick. And um, it's going to be free because it's the holiday, you know. Uh, I like to um, do free tricks on um, holidays. So I'll do one like on Christmas and Halloween and stuff like that. So, yeah, today's a free trick. I'm going to reveal it to you. So, yeah, um, here we go. I'm going to actually have you. Um, I'm going to cut the cards up. I'm going to mix them up a little bit just so the cards are completely mixed up. And um, we can do like another little, another table cut or something to get the cards completely mixed up. And uh, now, Mom, I'm going to have you um, select a card. I'm going to have you tell me when to stop. So Stop. Right there? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yep. All right, take a look at your card. You see it? Okay, yeah. Take a look. All right. Let's see. I'll take a look at my card, too. The card too. Okay, it's the King of Spades. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fingernail. We're going to make some, make this card special. Take my fingernail and I'm going to actually dent it a little bit. Make a crease in it. Right there. Mom, you just cut my fingernails. Oh, my gosh. There. There. I think I got it right down the middle there. So, I don't, if you can see in the light here, kind of over to the side, there's a little crease in the middle. Can you see that? Oh, there's a crease in there, anyway. Mm -hmm. See, because I can actually bend the card like this. Here we go. And we can actually bend it a little bit more like this. Okay, and we'll actually just, let's just use this card for the trick. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show my hands empty. So my hands are empty. Okay, I want you to see that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fold the card equally in half, okay? And I'm just, just going to give it a rub like that. It changes to be completely ripped. Not just on one side, but on both sides, just like that. King of Spades, red on both sides. And that's the trick, guys. I hope you enjoy it. This is a pretty complicated trick, so get ready for the tutorial. I'll be right back. Welcome back to the tutorial of the color changing uh, card. This is what it looks like. I'll show you it one more time just so you get the idea of it. Uh, this is it. You have it change visually. I have to take this tape off. I'll use that. So yeah, it's a color changing card. It's pretty cool. Um, this is it. This is the tutorial. So what we're going to need is you're going to need some some cards here. I'm just going to use jokers because I don't really like wasting cards that much. So I'm going to use jokers. Um, I'm going to new deck. But um, yeah, so this is, these are supplies you're going to need. We're going to need this thing called the perfect score, a.k.a. the bullet. It's, um, it's a pretty cool card mechanism thing. It allows you to cut cards straight down the middle and then um, basically make them perfect. So they are perfect every time, so you can fold them. So, um, so you're gonna start off. You're gonna need some double stick tape. Okay, you can get this at like Staples or whatever. You get a roll of Scotch double stick tape. Um, and you're gonna need a deck of cards, and then you're gonna need your bullets and some Joker cards. You're gonna need a blue card and a and two red cards. Okay, so let's start the uh, trick. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to, uh, we're going to put this to the side for now. We're going to take the blue card here um, and you're going to take it and you're going to take the perfect score and you're going to stick it right in like that. So the it is uh, lined just like that. I don't know. Let's actually let's make it because they're kind of uneven sometimes. There we go. That's about middle. And then um, this is the bullet. This has a tiny point tiny tip if you can see that um it's very tiny um it's very sharp so um you could cut your pillow self but it's very rare anyway just you're gonna take it and push down on it and then you can score it you'll feel it drag there okay so um you can see it there's a line straight down the middle and then you're gonna actually bend it so it bends like that bends pretty perfect so it lines up pretty well and uh so next you're going to take your card 
We're gonna do your your red card. You're gonna do the same thing to that. Uh, we're gonna do it over here. Mm. And we're gonna. Let's see either. Score that okay. down the middle, and we're gonna bend it just like that. And you're gonna take your scissors. Um, I'll go grab the scissors here. Thank you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut down the middle. You're gonna cut to about down here. You're gonna actually make two strips. I like doing it two strips. You could be different. Um, cut it perfect. Cut it right down the middle there, and cut it in two strips just like that. So they're they're gonna be looking like this. Okay. Now you're gonna take your blue card. No, not that. You're gonna take your blue card. And, um, uh, usually you should use a face card. I didn't, um, but it, it kind of hides the line a little more. The crease in it. See, you can't really see the crease in it that well. Um, but, yeah. So, we're we'll take the, um, the seven. And you're going to take the cards on the back. And you're going to glue or tape, double stick tape. You're going to use two strips of it there. Get that hair off. Uh, you're going to use two strips. You're going to place that one there. And then you're going to place one right there. Okay? So you have two strips of double stick tape. It's kind of hard to see it on the camera. Um, but next, you're going to take your red strip and tape. And you're going to paste it right there on the center. So it kind of lines up with the angel's head. So it kind of makes it line up like that, and that's how you can kind of guide it, and then it looks like it's half and half. And then you'll take your own strip, and you're going to place this on there as well, but you're going to use your um, tape, and you're going to stick a tiny piece right here on the bottom there, and then you'll stick your piece on. Again, lining it up with the angel face there. See, it lines perfectly, just like that. And you can't really tell that much that there's a line in there. And up here, right here, uh, there's that little piece there. Um, uh, you should use this, this is glue called Scotch Up. Um, it's, it's a good glue to use um, for this to stick down. And then you can kind of push down and then you get your thumb underneath it. For now, we're going to use double stick tape. You should use Scotch Up. It's probably pretty cheap, like five bucks, something less. And um, yeah, you're gonna pick, you're gonna take some double stick tape in this case, and place it right there, so it sticks like that. So it sticks down like that, and then you have your gimmick pretty much made. And then uh, now we're gonna get into the tutorial on how to uh, do it so I'll meet you back alright guys so you're gonna start off with your gimmick right here this is your gimmick that you made in the tutorial you're gonna stick this on the bottom of the deck okay and then you're gonna take a random card um, and place that on top of it just like that um, and you can start off by like doing some cards don't spread out like that so they can see it um, see the red, but you can spread them out, show them they're blue, and then you see all the faces. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to, you can give it a few false cuts. I give it the classic false cut, the swivel. Um, that'll be, uh, there's another tutorial about that. I'll teach you a different video, but you're, you can do some false cuts and, um, whatnot, but, yeah. So, uh, next, what you're going to do is you're going to take the bottom card, just kind of talk, be talking. I was talking about Valentine's Day and stuff. So you're going to take it and just place it on top, and then you're going to give it a swing cut, and then you're going to make a pinky break right below your card, like that. Okay, so you're going to make a pinky break right there. And then you're going to grab with your thumb, you're going to hold the break with your thumb. Like this. Like this. And you're going to dribble the cards like this. Like dribble, and then... Whenever they say stop, you're just going to drop the pack. Drop the pack here. Like, stop. So it, it's a force, basically. You're forcing this card. And then you show them their card. Make sure not to like bend it. Kind of hold it. Like this. And then you're going to cut these cards to the top. Like that. 
And then flip them over and say, okay, I'm going to take a peek too. Take your finger. Pretend to um, make a crease in it. Lay people will not know. It. You can't make a crease with your thumb. But, um, yeah, you're going to make a crease with your thumb. Just like this. Like that. You pretend to. And then you kind of pretend to, uh, like, pretend like to bend the card. It already has a crease in it, so it would be pretty easy. So you bend the card like this, and then you say, we're just going to use this card. Don't show the back. That's very important, because they think it's blue. <coughs> ah, excuse me. And then you're going to take the card, and uh, this is when the scotch up comes in handy. Um, this is when you push down like that, and then it pops up. Uh, and it, in the in the video, you could hear the tape going that, because I don't have scotch up, but um, that's basically what's going to happen. So that's why you use scotch up, because you don't want to make the, the noise. And uh, it, this is what you're going to do. You're going you're gonna to pop it up, and then you're going to bring this flap down. I'm going to show you in a sec. And you'll fold it over like this, and then you'll make it change red like that. And I'll explain that right now. So this is it looks like you're gonna pop it up. You're gonna bend it down to the corner here, just like this. Okay, you're gonna bend it down, and then you're gonna take it, fold, and you're gonna fold it like this. It's gonna be in your hand like that, and you're gonna fold it over like this. So the card's gonna be kind of like this, and then basically you're just gonna it's gonna be like look like this, and then you kind of just roll. You hold it on, and then it looks really weird. It's like red and blue. It's like what? And then you keep rolling up like this, and then you fold it up all the way, kind of wiggle like that, so it looks like you're like putting a sticker on, but you're not. And you show your hands empty, um, so this is what it looks like fast. So we'll fold the card, and we'll give it kind of a little rub like that, and it changes into the red card on this side and this side, and then you can unfold it. Make sure this stays down, and you have to push on it when you're doing like this thing, like that. You're gonna push on it really hard, so this tape sticks there, and then or the glue, and then you just show it's on this side and this side. Take a really quick glimpse because you're gonna see uh, an edge of that, and if you have it holding like this right in front of them, they're gonna see that, and you're like, what? So just do it quickly, like I did in the in the performance. You say it's right on this side and this side, and then you're gonna open it up like that, and you say. It's completely red and kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then you show the face and the back, and it is red. So that's the tutorial um, for the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's pretty long, but um, I'll see you next time for another hard day for a free trick. See you guys all next time. Have a great day. Yeah.